video is covering three things. It's going to cover hooping, cover nails, so if you subscribe for nails, and it's going to cover things for dog lovers. So if you're a dog lover, stick around because I'm a dog lover. Um, the first thing is everybody knows December is really crazy and hectic, especially if you're a college student living away from home. One week you have to go to all your classes in case there's a review, so you have to actually make it to all your classes you can't skip. In the second uh, week you have to go to take your finals, so you have no weekend, no life that weekend because you're just studying. And then the week after that is going Christmas shopping and getting everything last minute done and decorating. The week after that, which is Christmas, you're getting everything last minute done, doing family stuff and preparing for the holidays at your house. But for me this year, it was getting sick and getting sick. So I haven't practiced this week or this, this month actually, so I can't really put up a progression video on my 14th month hooping video. But if you have any video or questions you want me to answer um, or do a video on, let me know. For the person who did a video or asked me this to do this video twice about hoop sizes and what they're good for and the kind of hoops that I have, I have been practicing what I might include in the video, what I might say. Like I talk to myself as if I'm doing a video on my way to school. And I've done this already at least eight times. And the walk to and school to and from school is like 20 minutes. So I put a lot of time into it, but I keep pausing because a lot of the stuff is stuff I've said in another video. So if there's something else you want me to do, let me know. If there's a type of hooping video you want me to do besides tutorials, let me know that too. Just things you want to know. Um, I do want to do a frequently asked questions video. So I get asked, you know, how did I got, how did I get into hooping? Where do I practice? How long do I practice? Do I name my hoops? Um, stuff like that. So if there's any other questions you want me to answer in that frequently asked questions video, shoot it to me in the comment section, Get let me know. If there's a certain type of video that you want me to do that is in relation to hooping, let me know that too. Um, so now, now on to nails. I haven't been doing nails a lot because uh, hooping tends to break my nails once in a while. My nails have been chipping or I have to like resize them. So I haven't been able to even practice a design, let alone do a video on them. But I, because this month I didn't practice, they are healthy, so now I could actually do a video on nails. So if there's a certain style that you want me to do, shoot that to me in the comment section as well. Let me know. Um, for those of, so for those who are always wondering why I use like mechanical pencils and toothpicks and Q-tips, it's because I try to do designs that anybody can use without going to the store and buying professional tools. People do get mad at me and say, "Why don't you use professional tools?" I have them, I just want to be have the design more accessible to people who might not have the money or the resources or the stores to go out and buy them. So that being said, if you have any idea what you want me to do as far as design, I'm open to ideas, maybe colors or schemes or whatever, just anything, let me know. Uh, and lastly, the thing about the dogs, my family recently got uh, adopted a dog and I wasn't there, so I don't really know her personality or what kind of dog she is. I might have a video of her later on, but this is like a week since we got her, and we don't really have a name for her yet. So if you have any ideas, even if it's for a boy or for a girl, let me know, and I'll even make a video about dog names and stuff, just to kind of change it up and stuff. This is actually my first girl dog. It's my first dog that's like medium to large size because I've always had like miniature schnauzers, which, by the way, they are... The cutest dogs, they're very smart. Um, they don't go to bed until you do, so they don't get a lot of sleep with teenagers. And they check up on you once in a while. They're just like peeking their head inside and just check. I've had two snouters already who do that, so um, very smart. But if you have any suggestions for names, um, let me know, and I'll do a video on that. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. Let me know videos that you want me to do about hooping. Let me know questions you have about hooping that you want me to answer and the frequently asked questions. Let me know designs that you want me to do for nails and as well as dog names for boys and for girls. In the meantime, I will try to get better because I'm still getting over being sick. I wish I could show you how many pills I'm taking, but if you're sick, I would recommend Superfood by Dr. Schultz. It doesn't taste the greatest, but it's so healthy for you. I'm recommending it to everybody. Um, my dad's gotten everybody in our family involved in it because it's really good for you. Um, so in the meantime, I will practice hooping after everything's gone crazy and is slowed down. And after my birthday, I guess, because my birthday's in January. So I will get back to you guys when things stop being so crazy. Bye!